All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeen. Welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you, give you another college football preview on the team for the 2016 season. Here to talk about the Iowa State Cyclones. Last season, the team went three and nine overall. Lost their head coach in Paul Rhodes, and they actually have a completely new coaching staff. Starting with their head coach Matt Campbell, and they have a defensive coordinator in John Heacock, and their new offensive coordinator is. Um, Tom Manning. So they have a completely new staff. Hopefully they can give you a couple more victories this upcoming season. But they still need to do a good job as far as the recruiting process and try to get more players to join Ohio State players coming out of high school. Now they do have the return of some of their top players um, entering back, um, especially on the offensive side. Starting with the, with the return of quarterback and Joel Lanning who was actually doing a better job last season passing the football between him and Sam Richardson. He did have 10 touchdown passes and 4 interceptions. And I do like the fact that he has the return of the top wide receiver in Alan Lazard who had just under uh, um, 900 yards receiving last season. And one other player and their biggest offensive weapon is running back and offensive rookie of the year player, um, freshman of the year of the Big 12 Conference and Mike Warren who had over 1300 yards rushing, 5.9 yards per carry and I believe 5 rushing touchdowns. Definitely a lot of defenses are going to keep an eye on him running the football this upcoming season. Now on the defensive unit, they do have the return of a couple decent players, starting with cornerback and Brian Peavy. He has a pretty good cover corner and an inside the line of scrimmage in the defensive line and Demon Tucker. Those are the top two returning players um, for the defensive unit. Now this year, if you take a look at their schedule, it's going to be tough again in the Big 12 Conference. I do see more of easy victories, easier victories between Northern um, Iowa as well as San Jose State. But Northern Iowa can still actually beat the Cyclones in that matchup in their first game on September the 3rd. But I do see them pulling at least those two victories as well as two Big 12 victories ending their season with a 4-8 and eight overall record and not making, making it to a bowl matchup. So that's exactly why. I've seen them predicting my, my, my prediction for this team this upcoming season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be tomorrow, where I will finish off the remaining six teams of the Big 12 Conference. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.